Hello everyone and welcome to the marineandreef.com budget reef aquarium build series where we go over how to set up a budget reef aquarium by following this budget build in my office. This is to give you guys an idea of what you were to do if you were on a budget and just how much you can get away with um, with some pretty affordable gear creating something really beautiful. So in today's video we're going to go over lighting. We've already gone over picking out the tank, stand, water movement, filtration, the heater. Today is going to be the lighting. Now in a reef aquarium the lighting is very important and it's often one of the most expensive purchases and that's because corals get the majority of their nutrition from light. They're photosynthetic animals or rather the symbiotic algae in them is photosynthetic so having good light that replicates the sun is going to allow them to grow and thrive and it's also how we look at the tank so if the light doesn't look good the tank's not going to look good. Now for this tank, there, we picked out this Fluval C Marine and Reef 3.0 light. There's a lot of lights that you can pick out, but in general, this strip style of light is going to be one of the most affordable. And one reason we intentionally picked this tank and this light is this Fluval light is very affordable, comes in a variety of lengths, and in our experience can cover about a one foot front to back area. So this 55 gallon tank is 13 inches, just over one foot front to back. So one of these is going to be perfect for lighting up this tank. If we had a thicker aquarium, like a two foot front to back, we'd probably need two of these or an 18 inch, we probably also need two. So because we have a one foot front to back, this is going to pair just perfectly with this tank. Once we get this set up, if you guys are really nerdy, we'll probably do a follow up video showing you the par levels but I really think you shouldn't underestimate these guys. They give you a great light for the dollar. And these also are pretty feature loaded. These lights are waterproof in quotes. It doesn't mean you can use them underwater, but it means they're very splash resistant, which is good because there's lots of splashing around an aquarium. They also have Bluetooth control that lets you change the color of the light and ramp it up and down throughout the day. So this really is a, a premium feeling light at a budget price, which is what we're looking for for this build. Without further ado, we're going to take it out of the box, put it over the tank so you guys can see what it looks like. In relative close proximity to the light, you can go ahead and program it. You can see the basics of it. Basically, there's a sunrise that lets you set when you want the light to ramp up, when it starts ramping up, and when it finishes ramping up. There's this daylight setting, which allows you to pick exactly what color you want the light to be throughout the day. Right now we just have everything max, but we could pull the colors down and tweak that. The sunset, which lets you know when you want the light to start ramping down, and then when it finally finishes ramping down. There's a moonlight setting. Um, we just have it at a blue 5%. So that will give you that nice dim blue light letting the corals glow at night. And then finally a sleep. That's basically an off. So if you want the moonlights to run for a while and then turn off, you can tell it when you want it to turn off. And it will automatically run the schedule, give you that dawn dusk effect every single day. It really is the features of lights that are a lot more expensive than this. Um, and it does have a fully featured phone app. And the nice thing about it being Bluetooth is you don't have to worry about any Wi-Fi compatibility with your router or your network, any phone should be able to use it just fine. 